Um, and, and this is also a reason why we put a lot of emphasis on closed loop programming because there's a large customer base out there, uh, particularly those who are not losing power frequently and therefore having to live with their systems in an off-grid mode of operation frequently, uh, but instead customers who uh, just want the batteries there for some time of use metering or some rate optimization, and they only want a little bit of, of backup power, not a whole bunch of backup power, a couple of hours of backup power rather than a, a day's worth of backup power. And what one, uh, one advantage of closed loop uh, communication is that normally in our example, if you take a 60 amp hour battery and the inverter is capable of drawing you know, 156 amps out of it, then you would need three of these batteries to stay within the spec of the battery inverter. Uh, but in our, our first kind of introduction class, we mentioned that actually lithium ion batteries are capable of a faster rate of charge, faster rate of discharge. Uh, the problem is if you don't watch your cell voltages closely during those times, then it, it, it can result in a, a lower life for the battery bank. You go and read through our product warranties, it shows if you run the battery in a, a harder mode of operation, it can diminish the cycle life uh, of the battery. Uh, and so if you are just taking a, a random battery off the shelf and a random inverter off the shelf, and you're doing all of the controls based on the battery voltage, and the, the inverter is reading the battery voltage off the battery terminals and uh, doing its charge and discharge settings based off of that. That's what we call open loop. And uh, to some extent that is less controlled than if the computer on, if the battery has a computer and it talks directly to uh, the, the inverter. And so here we have an example of closed loop where for this particular uh, inverter uh, manufacturer, they have a, a BMS setting and our BMS in their system is number four. And when we go and use their BMS setting on this number four, it, it knows that, okay, I'm using the inverter with these batteries. And that actually allows us to say, well, you know what? Normally with open loop, we need three of these batteries. Uh, but since it's using closed loop communication, we can do two of these batteries. And so if you're trying to design a system to have the, the least amount of storage capacity possible, which would imply, you know, uh, uh, the least amount of project cost uh, possible, you know, selecting a, a closed loop inverter uh, with one of our batteries, and, and right now Solark with the E-Flex is what we're furthest ahead on, uh, can, can diminish the minimum battery size. So what I would say is, is if you're used to, you know, installing three E-Flexes with an eight kilowatt battery inverter, you know, from time to time, check up on our status of closed loop, because you might find that the smallest uh, warrantable battery uh, for your, your design has shrunk uh, as we get more closed loop communication online.